Chase Lukaku with a blue futon. And these are the box office predictions from March 4th to the 6th. And you know what? Let's see how I did last weekend as well. And let's just say... So if all of you know, Batman is coming out this weekend. And there's no other movie coming out for the next couple of weeks, honestly, like... The Unbreakable Boy got taken off the schedule, and other movies got taken off the schedule. So I think there's only two movies coming out March 18th. So you have a lot of time to see the Batman. So then I saw it. You had my review. Clear glasses mean you're a psychopath. So let's see how I did last weekend. So guys, not so hot at all. I thought Studio 666 might have a chance to be in the top five. You know, no other new movies coming out. That's wrong. It did 1.5 million, I guess 3.8. It was okay movie, so I can kind of see why it didn't. I think it was in 7th or 8th place overall. Number 5, Jackass decided to stay in it with 3.1 million. Death on the Nile was number 4 with 4.4 million. I thought 4.5, I will take that 0.5 million off. Spider-Man, I thought 6.8, it was actually a 5.8, so that million dollars off. Is at that threshold where I'm willing to say I'm okay with it, so I'm okay with that one. Dog, I was going to guess, I guess 9.7. It was actually 10.1. 0.4 off, we'll take it. And then Uncharted, I was guessing 25 million. It was actually 23 million, so about a 47% drop from last weekend. So it wasn't that bad. I was 2 million off in the price range, but we'll keep it as that. So, of course, Batman's coming out. Let's see what I think this week's top five is going to be. Number five, I'm going with Death on the Nile with 3.1 million. I think it's one of those movies where older people are slowly going back to the theater and slowly seeing this movie because it is one of the movies more for the older crowd. And I think it's starting to be the slower drops. Number four, we're going with Spider-Man with 4.1. With Batman coming in, I do think it might have a little bit of a drop because it's very slow drops. But I think this one will be kind of a significant drop. So I'm going with around a 4.1 million total, but it is still very hot to see. Number three, I'm going with Dog with 6.9 million. Again, with these Batman movies, I do think a lot of these can have a little bit steeper drops, but Dog is also one of those movies where older crowds can see it as well. So who knows? Number two, Uncharted. I'm going with a pretty over 50% drop, but this one is going 12.4. Batman, I think it's going to take a lot of the Uncharted crowd. 12.4, but I wouldn't be surprised if it gets below 10 million. I'm going optimistic 12.4. All right, Batman. What do I think Batman is going to be? I put a little poll out like on another like form. Over 150, under 150. I think it's going to go over 150. Over 200, under 200, under 200. So where I'm going to go, I'm going dead in center with 175 million. It is taking over the movie theater, and screens. The theater next to me, I think it has 12 to 15, no, 16 screens, including IMAX. And I want to say nine of them are going to Batman alone. So this whole argument, it's a three-hour movie. It won't make that much money. I completely disagree due to the fact a lot of movie theaters are going to put it in a lot of the screens. So that's what I'm trying to say, guys. If you want to see the movies now, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if the movies that are in your theater that are starting on Thursday and Friday, those are going to be the same exact movies showing until March 17th, March 18th time frame. But here's the recap of what I think is going to happen. Number five, Death on the Nile is 3.1 million, sorry. Number four, Spider-Man with 4.1 million. Number three, Dog with 6.9 million. Number two, Uncharted with 12.4 million. And the Batman, I'm going with 175 million flat. If it gets above 200, I will give it a goddamn round of applause. And with the Batman, like I said, I gave it a good 7 out of 10 movie. I would probably give it more like a 7.5 with a good 5 scale. I'll put it down a notch. But the more I think about the movie, the more I do enjoy it. And I think it's funny where people like kind of get mad at you. Because I'm like, oh yeah, 7.5. It's a good movie. There are some nitpicks to it. Long, Catwoman, I wasn't fan with her dialogue. Some of the stuff here and there. Love Paul Dano. It's not Dano, it's Dano. And other things like Robert Pattinson, I didn't like how Bruce Wayne and Robert and Batman were kind of the same character. But the more I think about it, the more I do research, that's what they kind of wanted to do. And if they do a second one of this iteration, I hope they kind of expand that range. 
because if you look at Robert Pattinson's IMDb, he is the doom and gloom kind of casting for that role. So overall, maybe he'll go up to an 8, 8.5. I don't see me going to the 9 at all. I said maybe with the second or third viewing. But now I'm just talking about Batman. Anyway, what do you think? Am I wrong? Chase me back with the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about blue Tontopia. Topia. You blue Tonians. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And seriously, it means the world.